so I'm just going to read some poems from it for you guys today. And the first one, let's see, what should I go with? I'm going to read um, The W, which is, a, I'm from Queens, if anybody is originally from New York. Queens, Hello, yeah. what's up? Yeah, so it's on uh, that train, pretty much. The W. Buildings and their glass eyes watch me as I ride, ride by. Facing the back of the metallic ticket through my city. Silence for a long day done. Interrupted by a sound, notes and melody. This young breath pushed through woodwind, a song. Not one I know or could ever recall, but in the strange and melodic sound, I feel home. A warmth emitted from my center, radiating, radiating out to shoulders that now settle. A brow I noticed is curled up, releases its folds. Lights peek out in between homes, through train windows. Breath pushed through valves, the notes flooding the car. My senses rocking side to side, cradled by motion and melody. In this sound, I feel nostalgic for my city, this train and the ride. Light popping into view as I emerge from under your feet. This one is called Hungry. Growing appetites, a brewing hunger, unleashed on one another. Moistened skin, dewy and kissed by summer's lips. Sliding, warm fingers intertwined. Locked tight before grabbing, pleading. Salty sweat licked across your neck. What impulse must taste of? The palate of passion. A map of ecstasy across the rounded borders of your form, across your strong, tensed back, through the heavy quiver in your heated exhale, resting on the cushions of your mouth, hungry, flush against you, curves upon curves, two missing pieces reunited in fervent magnetism. I wrote about my parents, uh, you know, sometimes parents just start telling you stories and whatever, and it was just after one of these nights they were dancing in front of me. Um, realizations in the radio. Two partners offer stories of times gone, nicknames they once teased each other with, through smiles, knowing, and alive. A garden well kept, their gazes well met, familiar songs play from the radio. Conjuring up exchanges they shared. They danced. Two souls in youthful remembrance. Nights at the disco, Chinese slippers, bad haircuts, muscle cars, and the military. They dance. Across their living room floor, and I see them. Not as my parents, but as two lives well lived. Two hearts well loved. Two young spirits before me, and I watch with the realization they are and have been far more than just parents, than my givers of life, my nurturers, my discipline. They have been and are young. They have lost and been reborn. Flowers returning to bloom every spring, birds migrating through life at each other's wings. The places they went, the places they'll go, always learning, life always new. These two friends, lovers, made mistakes, grew, and sacrificed, like I, like you, will do. Yeah. Thank you, guys. That's so nice. Thank you. Uh, this is, again, for my, my New York people. It is called Ode to New York. And after this, I'll just read one more. Um, I love my city and I love my people. Some don't quite know what to make of us. Angry, in a rush, rough, hard. Yes, we are hard. We are hard with heart. We were born in a city that's as hard as its streets. We grew up in a city that is at times unforgiving, is icy and tough, but alive and moving, sharp yet soothing like bubbles in champagne. I love my city and I love my people. We love like no one else can, with a fierce loyalty, unmoved even when most cannot see what's to love. We love our city steadfast, 
even though many come and love her fleetingly. As a whore, they claim momentarily for their own personal gain, their own moments of satisfaction, to make it big, as they say, to quench their own desires and dreams. And she gives and gives while the dreams take and take, and I love her. For all that she was, all that she is, always holding her true self close to chest, an exactness only few can see or could ever know. Even when she's the next big thing, the place some dream to be, we love her. Not for what she is in our imaginings, but what she has always been. Our mother of mothers, our lessons, our danger, our safety, our beginnings. The very thing that shaped my eyes on life. I love my city and I love my people. Heart and heart taking after her in nature. We don't love her like they do. We love her like some never could, even when they think they do. We know each other when we see each other. Only a small exchange need occur. Maybe it's the way we lean, the way we leave the G off our angs. Maybe it's the way we never stare unless needing to speak. The way we rush along purposefully, but with a grace all at once. The way we say what you didn't expect to hear. The way we know each other when we meet. Instant camaraderie, instant knowing. Our so-called defenses down. We know all the spots they're just discovering. The way we value our neighborhoods, each block holding a story, a cord to our past. Our childhoods embedded in the pavement you walk on. Quarter waters and fire hydrants, not pools. Water splashing on the concrete as we ran through. The way we understand our communities, the way we knew all our neighbors before they were ousted by rising rents. The next new thing, the cool place to live, each neighborhood one by one. Her body explored for convenience and opportunity, and still, we love her. In the face of change in the shadow of her transformation, to truly love is to love unreservedly, and so I love my city and I love my people. Yeah. man thank you <laughs> I was hoping you'd like that one um, I'm trying to find the last one and I just want to read it because it's going to be released in an anthology that a gathering of the tribes is putting together who have been so supportive of me and helping me release my first book so I should probably just use the table of contents to find it. <laughs> Anybody can do it that way. <laughs> Instead of my hot pink post-it notes. Sorry about that. Um, where are you? So there's actually going to be a release party this Saturday for the book. If you guys are bored or you have nothing else going on, you should come down. You can ask me for some information. Um, here we are, page 16. All right. Sorry about that, guys. So this is called Change is Gonna Come, and it was uh, pretty much about, I think if you're originally from here, you can see all the change happening across uh, first probably Manhattan and now further out into Queens and, and Long Island, and it was inspired after I took a, a bike ride through Bushwick and seeing all the change that's kind of happening there also. <laughs> Graffiti walls, bright painted colors, messages, murals, a neighborhood speaks. Dr. King across old warehouse walls, covered white, black, and red. I have a dream half in shade. Conspiracy theories, unevenly paved streets. Community quiet. New bar sings life into the air. Clinking of glasses. A new dwelling. The face is different than before. A new vibration drawing like to like. The founding culture splashed on the walls in the light. Visible and high, proud and true. War on drugs, war on the poor. Stands high above the rusty train tracks. Firm against the apartment facade. With the setting sun, its voice growing dark. Disappearing with night. Forgotten but true, unseen and disregarded. Out with the old, in with the new. A neighborhood's name, authentic soul. Generations upon generations watch faces change. Witness friends and families disappear. A collection of memories, artifacts, and attitudes. The
This is the reincarnate reincarnation, the gentrification, an afterlife to the yesteryear and all the things we knew.